Okay, here we are at Gateway College here in Phoenix, Arizona, and we're at the Hydrogen Tour. I guess this is probably sponsored by the Department of Energy so that they can have complete control over the, the, the hydrogen that, you know, we can all get for free, but they want to be in control over it, so... I'm, uh, my name's Thomas, with, well, my name's Morpheus with the, with Freedoms Phoenix, your on, uh, online news portal, and you can get all your news and updates from freedomsphoenix.com. Just walk in and buy one of these right now, if I write up, pull out my checkbook. Well, because the government's involved. Because <laughs> they got to go through energy. all this, uh, Department of Energy's kind of not going to let me buy one? Huh? Department of Energy's not going to let me buy one? Uh, I'll probably let you have one someday. But, Okay, I brought my checkbook. Can I buy one right now? Yeah. How many zeros are about? <laughs> How much do you need? <laughs> where, where are you gonna no, I mean, are they available? Can I buy one like right now? I'll buy uh, one right now. Actually, they're not available. No one's for sale. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, uh, principally because we can't yet meet cost targets for like a, for a, a, a Main Street car. Uh, hydrogen refueling is a big one. That's part of what our message is for this whole trip is that we don't have hydrogen to support having the cars. So we build a few cars, more stations come, more hydrogen, more stations. So if I bought one, I have my own hydrogen station. I, I'm, I'm making probably, my own hydrogen at home. You probably lease one. Oh, so they're leasing them like the EV1 so they can crush them in three years? Well, it's mostly that um, it's part of a... Without getting myself in too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like in the PC industry where you, where you make something and then two years later you come up with a better way of making it and you make it better and better and better. That's kind of where we are now in all these cars. They all run, they all do what normal cars do, but we always learn things all the time. So we make uh, kind of a batch of cars, we learn things, we test it, we say, okay, we can do this better, this better, this better, we integrate it into the next one, we do the next, 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 next. But if the so, consumer wants to bear that cost, then why, why, why not allow, why not allow the consumer to bear that cost the way you compare it to the PC well, industry? There are a couple of manufacturers that are doing leasing programs. Uh, we're not one of them yet, but we'll get there. Uh, uh, Toyota and uh, I'm sorry, TV Honda and GM are both doing leasing programs. They've been very vocal about that. Uh, quite frankly, we can't afford to build that many of them. Um, they're quite expensive. They're about a million and a half, somewhere in that territory a piece. Um, so they're very, very expensive for us to build. Uh, Honda and GM have uh, a different plan than we do, and they have some more resources dedicated to what we can afford to do. But you can't you can lease them. So. Oh, here we go. Are you the... You must be the BMW guy. You got the BMW shirt on. I am the BMW. I'm Thomas, and I'm with Freedoms Phoenix, the online news portal. Can you tell us a little bit about your car? Sure. This is a Hydrogen 7. It's based on a Hydrogen, actually it's based on the 7 Series long version. It's got a 12-cylinder bi-fuel engine. It means it runs on gasoline or hydrogen. Okay. Hy uh, gasoline is really just a backup, and the only emissions coming on the tailpipe are water. Wonderful. And now, are these for sale in the, in the dealerships right now? No, they're not for sale in the U.S. are being leased in Europe. What we do here in the U.S. is we loan them to Champions of the Environment. And they drive them in their everyday lives, use them to go to the beach, go shopping and things like that. And we get a lot of uh, feedback from them. And they also uh, bring the hydrogen a little bit closer to people who, who they have an influence on. In, in the United States, when you loan them out, how does that person refill it? But we're only loaning them in an area where we have an infrastructure, and that would be L.A. L.A. has the, has the hydrogen. Right. How many, how many uh, refueling stations roughly do they have there? Well, in the country we have 62. Is that BMW or that, that's, that's just... No, they're from different energy providers, be it Shell, be it BP. Um, we have our own system. 
which is liquid hydrogen. We use liquid hydrogen in order to get more energy on board to right. increase the range. Um, so it's cryogenic? It's cryogenic. Okay. And so, how long does that last in the tank with, with cryogenics? You mean as far as range is concerned? Yeah, but well, I mean, if you dr don't drive the car or, or the range. Yeah, well, both are good questions. Yeah, the range on this vehicle, the biofuel vehicle, is about 135. But with the monofuel vehicle running only on hydrogen, we're uh, getting mileage upwards of 200 miles per tank of 8 kilograms of hydrogen. Now, the new technology, we're looking at zero boil off. Wow. Uh, and what's the performance of this car versus a uh, standard BMW? It's the same really? as a regular BMW. Uh, the power density of an internal combustion engine running on hydrogen is either the same or it has the potential to actually be more. You can take a four-cylinder direct injection twin-turbo uh, engine that has been designed to run on hydrogen and get the same performance out of that as you would with an eight-cylinder. Uh, for internal combustion engines, we've reached a point right now where they are uh, ready for sale. Um, what is missing right now is the infrastructure. Now, if they, if they have to uh, provide a fueling structure, infrastructure for their vehicles, um, that's a completely different business case that most OEMs don't want to get involved in. They build personal mobility solutions, and the energy companies are responsible for the rest. So how about, a, how about if, I, if I have my own production of hydrogen and I just want to buy the car? That's an, well, you can't buy the car, but what you can do is you can get a conversion kit for any internal combustion engine that you have today okay. and run on hydrogen with that. Uh, a good example would be a heavy-duty utility vehicle, for example, a van or a, a, uh -huh. a vehicle where you have a lot of room to put in some extra components. And you can produce the hydrogen at home. Uh, you can do it through myriad ways with natural gas or uh, electricity through electrolysis. Um, what hydrogen really represents is energy independence, not only for the nation, but for individuals long term. Once we have decentralized hydrogen production, for example, in a home, the solar panels on your roof, you have an electrolyzer in your garage and a tank to store the hydrogen, all that excess energy that you're not using, instead of selling it back to the grid, you can also uh, produce hydrogen at home. And once you have a hydrogen-powered vehicle, whether it be a fuel cell or an internal combustion engine, then you are pretty much off the grid. Nice. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> hydrogen does show a very, very viable path to energy independence and, and to retain our uh, living standard, especially concerning personal mobility, and at the same time do something good for the environment. Fantastic. Do you have any more? Uh, do you have any more information on this conversion thing you could buy? You said we don't. We don't deal with that, and that's another issue that you want to make sure that you make clear. Um, EPA regulates anything that's not a fuel. They don't want it on the road. And that's something that you might want to talk to my friends from the DOT about. Um, his, his name is Paul Brubaker, okay. and I'll introduce you to him when we're done here. Um, he can tell you about that. Now, these, these kits, they may or may not be legal in certain states. Right. I don't know, but BMW has it's nothing to do with this case. Right. I'm right. just telling you that it's possible to do it today without right. buying a hydrogen cell. We could sell them because they are real production quality vehicles.